What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to do episode two of the beginner series here on the Elder Scrolls Online. So today I'm going to give you three more tips if you are a beginner, if you are a new player, uh, these hopefully will help you out. When you're traveling through the game, I think the one thing that a lot of new players have a, a issue with is bag space. So any zone that you're in, if you see this logo on a tent, uh, you can go up and actually talk to the pack merchant. Now, of course, I have upgraded my bag space completely, but you will have the option when you're new to the game to purchase bag space. Now, every time you purchase bag space, you will get 10 uh, new spaces to your bag or 10 spaces added to your bag. And it will start out not costing that much, and it gets very expensive towards the end. You can end up with a total of 200 slots uh, of bag space. Like I said, it gets pretty expensive towards the end, but I would highly recommend. Uh, if you start making a little bit of gold in game, go check out uh, the pack merchant every time that you have some gold and see what your next upgrade would be. See how much it's going to cost you. I would recommend at least getting 120 slots on all characters available uh, to you. That's what I do, even on my alt, uh, kind of my alt characters. Um, I, I try to get up to 120 spaces, if not more, 120 to 150. That way, no matter what I'm doing on any character, I'll have enough bag space. I don't have to stop every little bit, you know, to sell stuff, break stuff down, whatever the case uh, may be. Now, when it comes to some other ways you can upgrade your bag space, you can upgrade for 15 extra slots in the crown store. If you go over to the non-combat pets, you will see the inventory pets here. And there are three of them. And if you purchase these pets, you get a uh, capacity of five extra slots on all characters account wide. So every character that you have or every, uh, every character that you create, you will have those extra five slots. So if you purchase all three, you get a total of 15 slots. And if you buy all of the uh, upgrades from the pack merchant, you'll have a total of 215 slots as you can see here on my character my player's capacity right now i have 26 items out of those 215 that i can carry so that is very handy i would say probably if you're gonna you know make multiple characters the character that you plan on using the most or the character that you end up using the most in the end you might want to rank it up to 200 and then of course purchase those if you want to those are three three very good things i would recommend purchasing out of the crown store um but you can get up to, like I said, 200 even without those um, inventory pets. But you can have 215 max, and that is a lot of carry space. So whatever character you use a lot of, or use a lot, uh, you know, something that you play with a lot and you have a lot of items on, you may want to look into upgrading your bag space as much as possible as quickly as you can while you're kind of adventuring through the game and making gold. And then if you want to later down the road, purchase those inventory pets uh, in-game as well from the Crown Store. The next tip, number two here on the list, is going to be joining a guild. I know a lot of people are kind of wary of this, I guess, to begin with when you first start playing the game. But as you can see, I own my own guild. I'm also in some other guilds that I've been in for a long time since I've started playing the game. A lot of those are trading guilds. You wouldn't have to necessarily be in a trading guild right off the bat. I would recommend holding off on that until you get a little bit further into the game do you start making some more money because most trading guilds there are some free ones out there so if you can find a free one go ahead but for these guilds that sell in really good places week in and week out they are kind of expensive i know prices are going to vary but if you're looking here on ps5 you're looking anywhere from 10 to twenty thousand gold a week to be in those guild traders and that does get expensive for new players but there is an option if you go into your guild finder to find um, you know, group PvP, role-playing, social guilds, uh, questing guilds, PvP, uh, cra or PvE, or crafting guilds. You don't necessarily have to look for a trading guild. Uh, these other ones are great options as well. There's a lot of people out there that have guilds uh, that are just for new players, to help out new players. They have people in there that can craft things for new players. So I would recommend uh, finding you a guild. Um, you don't have to stay in it. If you don't enjoy it, you can find a different one, or you can you know just leave them very easily. But I would recommend that everybody goes in and finds themselves a guild. It's always great to find new players, and that's a good thing about guilds. You may find a bunch of new players that are, you know, play the same time you do, or you know, or just play the game the way you do, and want someone to go out and adventure around with, play dungeons with, and that's a really good thing. Now, if you are on PlayStation and you would like to join my guild, um, the guild I have, of course, is Royal Chaos. Leave me your gamer tag if you're on PS4 or PS5 in the comment section down below, and I can invite you to my guild. It's just a you know, basic guild uh, for new players, for veteran players, whoever would like to join, just to help each other out and have a good time. So you're more than welcome to do that. And tip number three will be 
make sure if you are new to the game that you know where your endeavors are. So if you're in your options menu and you go to your activity finder, um, you will find the endeavors option. Now this is something that is added to the game a little bit or a little while ago, but it's not been in the game the entire time the game has been out. But this is a way that you can do stuff daily and end up getting premium rewards for it. Now it's a slow grind. You're not going to get great rewards right off the bat. But if you log in and play every day, I would definitely recommend that uh, you check these out. You have to do three of these each day from the daily uh, list. Any of the three is fine. And then of course you do one from the weekly list. And you can kind of see the amount of uh, Endeavor tokens that you get. Once you have done that, you can go into the Crown Store and you can go up to the seals of the Endeavor section and you can see what you can purchase with those seals of the Endeavor in each section. Now, like I said, a lot of the stuff is not really cheap, but eventually if you play all the time, you can get premium rewards just from pretty much logging in and doing your basic, uh, you know, seals of the Endeavor quest every single day. And that is a great way to get mounts and other things in game that you might want from the crown store if you don't have the cash to buy it. Because I understand sometimes uh, cash is tight in the world uh, these days and it's something, you know, that not everyone can just go out and spend stuff on the game. And it's a really great system for you to get premium rewards from just, like I said, logging in every day and doing your endeavor. So those are the three tips today for beginners. Make sure you're upgrading your backpack. Find a guild that you can join and, you know, hop in there and find some friends to play with and enjoy yourself in the game. And also make sure that you're doing your endeavors every day when you log in so you can get some of those free premium rewards down the road. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.